Hello again, Professor Miller here. So um, tech tip number two is about Google. Now, I hope maybe you have used Google Suite before. So Google Docs, Google Drive, Google Slides, stuff like that. But if not, that's okay. They're pretty intuitive to pick up. Um, and best of all, they're completely free. So one of the reasons I use Google is because I am a really big fan of collaborative work and Google makes it seamless. Um, you can see who's participating. You can, you can exchange comments with people. You can, you can write together without having to actually be together, which is going to be kind of important this semester. Um, so it's a really valuable resource. There's just one negative side as far as I'm concerned, and that's that MBCC students cannot sign up for a Google account with their MBCC address. So it's kind of a pain that way. If you don't have a Google account, you're going to want to go set one up and you may have, you will have to use an email that is not your MBCC student email address. That's because the Google invite goes to spam and you don't see that. So, um, so the first thing you do need to do if you don't have a Google account already is go make one. If you do have a Google account, but it has a real personal email address, maybe get a new one. They're free. I have about five different Google accounts for different purposes. Um, one for work, one for personal, one for my kids, all that kind of stuff. Um, so you can feel free to start a new one with a more appropriate name. Okay. Um, but what you're going to do is, is create an account. Um, and once you have that, it'll allow you to access my documents and comment on them and participate in sort of the discussions that we're having. So uh, sort of as an example. So here we have our syllabus, okay? And um, my technical assistant is an invaluable resource for all of us. And one of the things she does is check my work because I miss things a lot. We all do. Uh, and so one of the ways, the main way that we collaborate together, regardless of where we are, I'm in, I'm in the North Pole right now looking at the Aurora, so she's not here. <laughs> um, we use Google. And so she has commented that I forgot the word too, and I can see where it was in the document and I accepted it. And um, so not only can you make comments by simply, you know, hi, let's say I wanted to say something here this bubble comes up right here, or you can click at the top. But um, I type whatever I want to say. And then I'm going to click comment like that. Okay, so that feature exists in all um, Google documents and slides and uh, spreadsheets, which is excellent. It's a great way of communicating when you have a question. Another happy thing that is useful, especially to me as an instructor, because you all are going to do a group project and I need a way to know who is contributing and who's not, is you can go file, version history, see version history. So essentially what this is going to do is show who's been doing what. So here's Mostly it's me because it's, you know, the syllabus and I'm the teacher, but, you know, this will highlight all the changes I made at different times. Okay. Um, it'll have the person's name if you've logged in. That's essential when we do our kinetics experiment because you get credit. Um, if someone goes in and messes up your document, you can also restore it by looking at the version history. There was a blue button up there that said restore. If you need to, if you need to put the assignment into Blackboard for the plagiarism checking, the way to do that is go file, download PDF, and then wherever that PDF is located on your computer, probably in the download folder, um, you're gonna navigate to that inside of Blackboard, okay? So like for example, so I've downloaded it, here it is, and that ends up in my downloads folder because that's where I've I've said it. Um, if you're, by the way, for class, it's a good idea to use Google Chrome or Firefox. They work best with Blackboard. I use Chrome. Um, so in Chrome, you can click here and it'll show you where that, that is located on your computer if you have a hard time finding it. So then I'm going to go to Blackboard. OK. 
Okay, so here's our Blackboard course. And uh, all lab materials go under module four. Okay, so I pop into here. And here's our schedule. So if I go down a little ways, oh, they moved it on me. It's not down. On my screen, it's down. I'm in student mode right now, so it's different. This, you're going to see our schedule to begin with. And um, right here, you can pop out all the different options that are within this module. Um, or you can click to the next page, and it will give you the content that's next in the list. Um, I think it's easier to navigate by clicking on, on the tree over here. So, um, so you're looking for um, the assignment. This is listed as an assignment type. So it says preview, upload, assignment, kinetics, experiment. And when you go in to do this, it's actually going to be under the kinetics folder. Um, but I can't actually make that until we have our groups established. So that'll be forthcoming later. But I'm using this as an example. So it tells you how many points it's worth. And um, you can either write it immediately right in here. That's a real tough thing to do because it doesn't save it. Um, or you can take that Google document. This is what you should do for the kinetics experiment. And we're going to go to downloads. And I, you know, it's my syllabus. But and I just, so we went to browse my computer. And then I navigated to where I saved the file. And then I clicked OK. And um, you can write comments to me here if you'd like to. Um, for example, one good thing to do would be to make a link to um, the document. Because it is a Google document, I can see the live work that you did. So you can do that by going over here where it says share. And you can either just type my email address in here. I'll probably already be one of the people that you're sharing with. Um, it, for the purposes of loading into Blackboard, Go over here and click copy link. You can change these permissions if you if you want somebody to be able to comment, or if you want them to be able to edit without being logged into Google, you can change the, those settings here. But viewer is fine for our purposes here. And so we'll go back here and just paste that right in there so that um, I have quick access to it when I go to grade your assignment. Okay. And then what you would do is click submit. Um, and that's it. It's worth noting when you're uploading assignments in Blackboard, there is a really limited type of file that you can do. The ones I know for certain that you can't do are pages documents or really anything from the Mac um, Office software, like anything that's not Microsoft Office, in other words. Um, PDFs are always a safe bet. And most programs will let you convert things to a PDF. Okay. So you need to upload your assignments to Blackboard because the way I'm going to grade them is by writing on them in Blackboard. And I can't do that effectively um, by email. So don't email your assignments to me. Upload them like I've shown you.